first glance, it's a nicely designed, kind of a soft touch material, but it can show a lot of kind of scruffs and whatever really easily, as you can see. Um, right here, you got SD card and a micro SD, oh, SD card. And I can't read it, right? It can't read. And a pro card. From here, you have, you know, your your old kind of standard charging LAN uh, little indicators. On one side, you have your Sensen Security lock slot and your disk your disk tray. Sadly, my laptop is broken. I'm using my old one. It's the predecessor to this, which is really ugly, but. Next, got yourself a wireless on and off button, your headset, headset jack, microphone jack, pair of two USB 2.0s, slots, your uh, exhaust, exhaust grills, VGA port, and a mini ethernet on the back. On the back, we have a main ethernet. Uh, hinge is broken. And not locked up. Connection port and charging slot. So the hinges on this lasted a long time. This thing, this thing lasted a, whole, a few years. Still opens really good. It's a nicely designed. And on the back, No easy access components at all. But, yeah. Some grips. Grips on all four sides. Um, let me show you the inside of it. Hold on a second. And the battery is removable on the outside, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. I put my camera right there. In the inside, we have a nice, sleek, kind of modern day design. Trackpad, we have two separate buttons. Trackpad time for the glass trackpad. Very nice. It's extremely nice. Very little... It had very little sensitivity, which was kind of good and kind of bad. These click... The one things I didn't like, they were really loud, and eventually they tend to not respond anymore. This one didn't start, this thing, this one stopped responding, and this one started to stop. So, anyway, this is a 13.3 inch laptop, so, anyways, people are probably using mouses instead of this. And you can also use the trackpad by, you know, doing that, and you can tap stuff. So, under the keyboard. Typical laptop keyboard. Um, very good key travel. It took me a few days to adjust to this keyboard, but after a few days, I adjusted to this really easily. Um, not really soft by the touch. You kind of have to apply some pressure to push down the keys. Um, you have your, since this is an old laptop, it's about 4 screen. This thing can go up to 1080, but it will eventually slow down the computer a whole bunch. So from here on, um, the this is the base model which comes with five gig, five gigs of RAM, seven hundred gigabyte, seven hundred gig hard drive, and DLNA certified. Uh, it has a dual chip, but I'm probably not gonna get the most performance out of it. This thing is designed for Windows XP, but. I bumped this thing up to Windows 10, and this thing was working flawlessly. So you can run at the base model of Windows 10, or you can even have more. You can go up to the this thing. Uh, if you go on Vio's website, this thing on its launch, this thing was about 900 to 1,000 dollars for the base model. Now you can get it for like 100 to 200 because it is an old laptop. But with the best model, it's about 14 gigs of RAM, two terabytes worth. Of storage on the hard drive, 
it's a little bit bigger. It goes up to about 7, 540, 720. It can go up to 1080. And it will be a little bit less laggy, but still, it is a com it is an old laptop, so don't get the best performance. You won't get the best performance out of an eight if you're trying to really push this thing like mid mid titles like a uh, Overwatch or something like that. But it is a really nice laptop. This thing lasted me a few years. No, it stopped working. Um. Uh. Uh, I want to tell you why, but it's kind of embarrassing. One day, I opened up this laptop, and there was water all in it, and some idiot poured water on my laptop, but, you know, this is my laptop. This thing is a little bit glitchy when you first boot this thing up. You have to go through, you know, your typical setups, but eventually it starts kind of glitching up a little. It'll, I don't know. It started doing that for me, but... That was my review of the Sony Vio VGN N150P laptop. If you want to see the inside again, as you can see, the keyboard, um, got your ports. And then, since hence security lock slot, and your DVD thingy. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys like this video. If you want to still buy one, there are newer models of it, of up to date 2016 models, which run so much better. But this thing, even though it came out in about 1999 or to about 2002, was this thing the long run, and then its newer version came out. This thing was designed for XP. I put this thing on Mac OS. Mac OS Yasumai, um, Linux, Windows XP, it's a Windows, I put it on Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows Enterprise Editions, Windows 7, Ultimate, Windows 8.1, and then Windows 10 Pro. So that was my full review of the Sony Vio laptop. VGN 150p laptop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe go buy yourself this one because this one really suited me. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys in the in the next one. Gooey out.